Hello everyone and welcome to City Kids Online. My name is Chris and I'm so glad you're here with us today. How has your week been? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Speak up a little louder. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'll tell you what I spent my week doing. I figured out this really cool new, new skill that I have. Do you want to see it? Here it is. Are you, get ready. Oh, I messed it up. Here we go. I call it flamingoing. It's my new talent, and I'm sure it's going to catch on like a crazy fashion trend. Do you want to try it? How about you do it? Right now, stand up. Try it. One foot. You, if you want to be really creative, be like a real flamingo, you can even crane your neck. See? Flamingoing. It's the new thing. Trust me. It's going to be all over social media. Actually, that kind of leads into our, our share time question for this week, right? What would you do if you were in a talent show? So my new talent is obviously imitating a flamingo, but what would your talent be? We would love to hear from you. As a matter of fact, why don't you tell us right now? What would you do if you were in a talent show? That sounds like a lot of fun. You know, some people have a singing talent. Other people can do really hard math problems in their head. I don't know if I'm one of those, but we all have different talents and we all have really cool things and, and that God has given us that we can do. So let's have a little mini City Kids talent show right now. Let's see what we can do as a group. Hi, my name's Kate, and, and I, if I was in a talent show, I would juggle. <laughs> this is Lena. Hi, my name's Lena. And in a talent show, I would do... A cute stretch. Let's see. Turn around, let me see it. Stretch like a chicken. With your arms. Hi, my name's Daddy, and every year at school I win the speak meet. So, ow. if I enter a talent show, my, my talent would be a speech. Wow! Did you realize we had that many talents in City Kids? I didn't either. But we have an amazing group of guys out there, and gals. I am so excited to get back with you guys soon and see you guys perform some of those talents in person. You know, one talent that we can all do is sing. You know, the Bible tells us that God loves hearing us sing to Him. It doesn't matter if you have a great voice or not. It's an ability that God has given us so that we can praise Him with our voices. So let's take that opportunity right now with our song for this week. Let my life be your story. 
my future's bright Cause you want good things for me Let my life be your story My future's bright Cause you want good things for me So bring on tomorrow, bring on today I ain't afraid of what comes my way Let my story every page Bring glory to Jesus' name We're singing out, yeah You're the one I want Great job singing, guys. I think we have some definite singing talent in City Kids. Did you know that the things you care about most were put in your heart by God so that you could serve Him? Isn't that amazing? God gives us talents to serve Him. Matter of fact, that's our Bible point this week. We can use the things that we care about to serve God. So as we watch our Connect HQ video, keep in mind that you have talents specially given to you by God that you can use to serve Him. Now one other word before we watch our video this week, we're going to do some reruns for this week. So Dot is going to look like a much younger little girl. So let's all enjoy little cute Dot as she learns about talents this week in our Connect HQ video. Right. Okay. Right there. And... Hey, Maurice. Oh. Hey, Mike. I was just uh, working on the new satellite. No way! Is that ping pong? Well, it's gonna be, but I'm really good at reading instructions. I'm not so good at putting stuff together. Huh. That's weird. I'm good at putting things together, but not great at reading directions. <gasps> what if you put it together, I'll read the instructions, it'll get done in no time, and then we can play a couple games before you have to work on the satellite. I don't know. I've got to get the satellite up for Ray and Luke. I'll sing the instructions. Okay. <laughs> Number four, turn the nut counterclockwise, make sure that it's tight. Number four, turn the nut counterclockwise. Hey, can you keep it down? I'm trying to sing. <clears throat> Number five, make sure that it's flush and keep the net on tended. Mike! Uh, <laughs> You're a great singer, but I can't think. Well, I can't get any better unless I practice singing. Hmm. Maybe we can work together. C figure A, C figure A, what? C figure A, C figure A, what? C figure A, C figure A, what? Now let's break into the guitar solo. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how we solve the problem of too much talent. Sorry, uh, didn't see you there. Um, are you juggling? Sorry, Luke. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm not very good, though. 
Oh, well, you know, give us some time. Well, why, why, why are you juggling? Everybody around here has a lot of talent. Mike is a good singer. You're great at keeping us safe. Maurice is great at building things. But what do I do? I'm just... Dot. Hey, you have many talents. Oh, we're getting a call. It's from our field office in Austin. This is Field Officer Hanson, reporting from Austin, Texas. This here's Callie. Now, she is a crazy good songwriter. Oh, shucks. Oh, seriously, so talented. But, well, here's the rub. It's cool when people like my songs, but it feels like I'm showing off if I play for other people. If I'm a humble follower of Jesus, shouldn't I keep my music to myself? Only play my songs for God? We're in quite a pickle here, guys. Can you help us? I wish I could play guitar like Kylie, or sing like Mike, or do anything. God gave us all things we're good at, and it's up to us to figure out how to use those talents to help serve others. You'll find your talent, and you can use what you're good at to give God glory. <gasps> that sounds like a good point link mm -hmm. for Kylie's problem. Yep. The point link is, use what you're good at to give God glory. Point link acquired. Let's go look for other links. Yep. Yeah, I'm winning! I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. What is that? Super Paddle. My sir. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, uh wanna play ping pong? Yeah, I thought you were supposed to be assembling the new satellite. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll get right on that. Uh, no, it's my fault. I'm the one that distracted him. I'm sorry, Luke. It's okay. I forgive you. We got a field report. Kylie from Texas isn't sure if using her talent as a songwriter should be shared with others or just kept to herself. Yeah, she thinks maybe she should only sing to God. Hmm. Figuring out what God wants us to do with our talents is important. There's a verse in the Bible in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Say it like this. 1 Peter 4.10. 1 Peter 4.10. Each of you has received a gift. Each of you has received a gift. In order to serve others. In order to serve others. That's a great verse. The verse link is 1 Peter 4.10. Verse link acquired. Uh, Mike, do you think maybe that you could uh, put this ping pong stuff away and, you know, Maurice, do you think that you could get started on the new satellite dish? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Maurice, out. I can't get the hang of this. Give it time, your talents will show. I guess. Hey! That's it! You're a genius! I am? Mm -hmm. Talent show! We should have a talent show right here at Connect HQ. We could get Kylie in too. Everyone can share their talents and encourage each other at the same time. Dot, you are a genius. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no way our satellite will be able to handle that. The new one can handle it. I'll have to make some modifications, but it's got the bandwidth, no problem. Yes! Cool, Maurice. And thanks for using your talents to serve others, not just serve yourself. Or to serve ping pong balls and me. Uh, can I sing in this talent show? Oh, definitely, man. I can solve a Rubik's Cube crazy fast. Cool! Whatever your talent, you should share it with others. You're right. It reminds me of the Bible story about talents. Check it out. 
says it's 66 picks mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Let it blow up all the pages, let this show go live Let his word explode from this video into your life Once upon a time, there was a man about to go on a journey. This is a story Jesus told called a parable. This man had three servants. Before he left for his trip, he called them to watch over his money. To one, he gave five bags of gold. Ah. To another, he gave two bags. Yahoo! And to another, he gave one bag. Woohoo! After he did this, the master left on his journey. The man who'd received five bags of gold immediately put his money to work, gaining five more. The one with two bags did the same and gained two more. But the man who'd received the one bag of gold left, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master returned to collect his money. The man who had received five bags of gold returned his gold first. Master, you've entrusted me with five bags of gold. I've gained five more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. Now, I will put you in charge of many things. The man who was given two bags came next. Master, you've entrusted me with two bags of gold, and I've gained two more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. Now I will put you in charge of many things. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, I was afraid I'd disappoint you, so I buried your gold. Here it is back. You wicked and lazy servant. You should have put my money in the bank so I'd at least get interest back. Huh? I'm sorry, my servant, but you are fired. We have no use for you here. As I've said before, whoever is faithful with a little will be trusted with a lot. You were not faithful with a little, so I cannot trust you anymore. This was the parable of the bags of gold. We must all be faithful with what God has given us, because it all belongs to Him. If you do that, you will surely be blessed. And being blessed by God is the greatest it can get. The end. Wait. Why is this called the parable of the talents? Well, in this parable, they called money talents. So whatever God has given us, we're supposed to share it with others and praise him at the same time. Yeah, that's right. We're not supposed to bury our money or our talents, and we're not supposed to use our talents for our own gain. <gasps> Isn't it weird how the word for money is talent in the parable, but today, when someone's really talented, we say they're money, isn't that weird? Oh, right, I'm still here. I slept on a ping pong ball! Moon proceed to select seconds and minutes and hours, AP 12 hours and 24. Nope, that's not working. Nope, that's not working either. What are you doing, Mike? I am trying to find an instruction manual to sing for the talent show. Oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to play a washboard. I thought maybe this was my talent. You know, um, talent shows are about people performing skills that they've practiced. But talents are much more than performing. What do you mean? Well, some people make everyone feel welcome, and some people help others without being asked. Do you know anybody like that? What? You mean me? They're gifts from God, and they're talents that should not be buried. So, with that in mind, are you ready for the talent show? Yeah. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, solo. I don't know how to play that thing, so this really doesn't count. It's ready. Let's do it. Okay, guys, let's get this show on the road. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're taking the show on the road? No. I meant it's show time. Sorry. Let's kick this off with a report from Kylie and we'll set the stage. Hey, HQ. Kylie says she wants to use what she's good at to give God glory. So we're ready to jam out. I sing because it's true. All good things say come from you. So what else can I do but give them back to you? Thanks, y'all. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, next we're going to show some of our talent right here at HQ. Not just singing, Dot. Singing instruction manuals. Sounds great. Turn a sixteenth quarter turn. Make sure recess scrum it is flush with the non recess and vice versa. Oh, I love instructions. I can sing it in Spanish or in German. Oh, I, I, can sing. I think that's all the time we've got. <laughs> Great job, everyone. We have so much talent here at HQ. Oh, that was awesome. You guys are all so super talented. I hope Kylie can see how we can all serve God and each other when we use our talents for Him. Why so glum, chum? I'm bummed that I never found a talent to share. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh. If it wasn't for your talent of vision and encouragement, we could have never put on a talent show. Really? Yeah, you made it happen. You talked to Kylie, you encouraged me to finish the satellite, and you kept the show going, and you made everyone feel great about their part. That's very important. You are super talented. Wow. Thanks, guys. I hadn't thought of it that way. I'll put together the connection transmission for Kylie. <sighs> so, anybody want to play ping pong? All right. But I caught super paddle. What? No, no, no. Orderly no, fashion. In an orderly fashion. No, it's mine. I made it. Got an answer back from HQ. Here, watch this. Hi Kylie, it's me, Dot. We found these links for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter 4.10 Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. God has given us things we are good at for a reason. To serve others and bring glory to His name. Just like the parable of the talent teaches, we shouldn't hide what God gives us. We should use our talents to serve others and make God's love known. I was afraid that I didn't have any special talents, but I learned that God gave me the gift of encouragement to help others see their talents. 
The talents and special skills that God gives us aren't meant to be hidden or make us look good. We can use them to show how great God is. Use what you're good at to give God glory. Thanks for your question, Kylie. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Very cool. I get it now. Thanks, Connect HQ. Well done, Dot. Well done. You've got a rare talent. <laughs> now that was corny. We have a mission to show God's love to the world and lead people to follow Jesus. But we can't do it alone. We need support from people with unique gifts, just like you. If you've never decided to follow Jesus, you can make that decision today. To follow Jesus and help us live out God's mission, all you have to remember are the A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group Leader before you leave. It's exciting to know that God has given us all special abilities so that we can serve Him. I just love it. I can't wait to hear and see what special abilities God has given you and how you're using them to serve our Lord. But let's talk about our share time question for next week. It's a really simple one. What do you love? What makes you happy? Big smiley face. Happy. What makes you happy? So this week, kids, think about what do you love? What makes you happy? Ask your parents if they'll help you share that online. Send us a video. We love seeing your videos and seeing and being able to interact with you that way. We just love it. So parents, if you could help us out with that, that would be great. Well, the time has come for us to say goodbye to all our company. So I won't continue that song, but we are glad you were with us this week, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week.